Hey guys, it's Tom. So as you might know, Solomon's store has just come out today, which is a cosmetic item shop, which is similar to the Squeal of Fortune in that it's a microtransaction thing. But I'm not going to show you that because it logs you out of the game when you click on it, which is in this little Squeal of Fortune tab. Uh, you should be able to find it there now. But what I'm going to be looking at is if you go on the Show Equipment tab, and then there's a new customization button right here. So if you just click on that, it'll take you to this screen. And what you can do, by default, it'll show you items that you've bought from the store. So obviously not many if you've not bought anything. Uh, but what you can do is you can display all items. And then you can sort of browse through outfits and stuff like that that you haven't bought yet. Just to see what it looks like on your character. So as you can see, without any of these outfits, I'm wearing just full bandos and all that and then I can see what that would look like if I bought the cabaret outfit or the coliseum outfit that looks kinda cool I think uh, but you might notice that this assassin one right here isn't greyed out like the rest of them it's a bit brighter that's because I've actually bought that you might be thinking Tom why the hell have you bought stuff from <laughs> the j store well, I'm, g I'm making this video to sort of give you my opinion on it, and I think that this Solomon store is absolutely fine. I don't see a problem with it other than... I've heard that Max Capes and uh, Completionist Capes have now... You have to pay to sort of recolor them, which I think is a little bit bullshit. But other than that, I think this is fine. I, I don't see a problem with it at all. If I want to go around looking like a ninja instead of wearing full bandos I should be able to do that and it doesn't really affect anyone else because it's disabled in PvP anyway and there's also lots of new titles with this store um, so for example Assassin that's one that I got as well so I'm just going to put that on and my Assassin outfit you can also sort of recolor it so if you want it to look a bit more sort of bright blue or orange or whatever then you can do that and there's also animations which are quite cool as well so one that I particularly like and I actually got this one with my uh, free coins that you get I got the headbutt mining yeah mining with your head I think that's awesome to be honest and there's also some other ones there's more pointless ones like the deep sea fishing one it looks sort of very similar to the other fishing emote uh, I don't really see the point in this one as well as the lumberjack woodcutting one seems a bit redundant but I like the headbutt mining one because it's a bit more funny and there's also one for slayer every time you kill a monster you do this animation and there's also uh, new spell animations as well there's one for high alchemy which looks pretty cool and there's three new ones for the home teleport animation you can get the infernal teleport which summons a demon out of the ground and then it takes you to the lodestone or if you're feeling a bit more fanciful you can jump on a pegasus and ride away to your destination and it looks very pretty and the one that I've obviously bought is the assassin one sort of look around and then disappear Whoosh. so yeah I just I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this but I thought I might as well tell you guys my opinion on this and I think it's fine to be honest I don't see a problem with this because it doesn't really affect any other players like the Squeal of Fortune does because that's practically just selling power and money and I think that's wrong but this is just purely cosmetic so I'd as, like I've said about 500 times already I don't see a problem with it and if you guys have a problem with it then I don't really care so I'm gonna end the video there and I'll see you guys whenever I next make a video